All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I tell you, I got a very interesting little video for you today. And speaking of today, I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday morning, depending on where you live, obviously. And I hope everyone is staying safe because it's still really, really bad here in New York City. Really bad here in New York City, but I digress. So guys, wear a mask and gloves and you should be good. And like I always say, wash your fucking hands, huh? <laughs> but anyways, on a lighter note, let's jump right into this one because we got 2006 Mr. Olympia winner, Jay Cutler versus 2015 Mr. Olympia winner, Phil Heath. And I figured this should be a good matchup. And you know what? There's nothing else to do here in New York but make videos for you guys. And I've been trying to pump out at least two to three videos a day for you. Just to give you guys something to do. Because even with PlayStation, Netflix, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, it still gets very boring. So I'm happy that I can make your day just a little bit better. So with that being said, without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys, the front relaxed. And you all know how much I love Phil Heath in this pose. But if his midsection was tighter, he would have such a better V-taper. And he would display such a better front relaxed. But I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler's way wider. Jay's lots of flaring out. Lovely, giving him a nice V-taper. Even his midsection don't look too bad. And his quads are ridiculous. Look at those fucking rips in the quads. The rips in the quads are unbelievable. Phil Heath's quads, on the other hand, are very washed out. From 2014 on, his quads were very washed out. So all in all, I'm going to give the first point to Jay Cutler for the front relaxed. Off to the next pose. And we got the side tricep. And Jay Cutler looks good. He's nice and thick, the tricep. The silhouette looks unbelievable. But Phil Heath has one of the best side triceps of all time. Especially here in 2015 and 2018. It was unbelievable. Just look how thick. And it's pretty deeply cut because, you know, Phil Heath, he doesn't really have a deeply cut tricep. But it's nice and thick. But here, it's pretty deeply cut. The silhouette looks great. So Phil Heath is going to get the point for the side tricep. All right, guys, now we got a hands on the hip most muscular, and they're holding in about the same exact way. Uh, Phil Heath might look maybe a little drier, maybe, because he has more striations, like to the shoulders, arms, and chest, but I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler's fucking midsection is unbelievable. 2005, 2006, 2001, and 2009, his abs were unbelievable. Look how deeply cut they are. He's got an unbelievable V-taper, great quads. His chest looks good, so I'm going to go with Jay Cutler on that one, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, because it could go either way. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular, and this was probably the hardest pose for me to judge, guys, out of this whole comparison video. Uh, Jay Cutler fills the pose out a little bit better, and his traps might even look a little bit better, but I don't know. Phil Heath in the crab most muscular is unbelievable, and like I said before, Phil has more striations to the shoulders, arms, chest. If his chest was bigger, he would look so much better. Imagine Phil Heath's chest was as big as Jay Cutler's. Could you imagine how crazy he would look in the crab? most muscular, but I digress. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and Jay Cutler's going to take this one because we all know Phil Heath is fucking narrow as fuck. Narrow as fuck. But in 2013, I got to say, that front lat spread was unbelievable. And why it was unbelievable? Because his midsection was super tight. It all starts with the midsection when it comes to Phil Heath. But I digress again. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point for the front lat spread, plus Jay's quads look better. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And even though Jay Cutler looks nice and thick, and I always like Jay Cutler in the rear lat spread, hams and glutes are very good. He's got, you know, somewhat decent detail to the rear lat spread, but fucking Phil Heath. From 2014, 2013 on, that rear lat spread just got better and better and better. Then 2018, which was his last Mr. Olympia, holy shit. Did that rear lat spread look fucking crazy? And I say it all the time. It looks like he has a fucking piece of armor on his back. It might be one of the best rear lat spreads of all time. So Phil Heath is going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh. And some of you guys might not agree with me on this, but I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. Now, Phil Heath's abs might look a little more deeply cut, but his midsection really sucks. It really does. Jay Cutler's midsection is a little bit longer. Phil Heath's midsection's a little bit shorter. Jay has a better V-taper, better quads, and this is an ab and thigh, right, guys? So we got to go off the quads as well. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point for sure. 
All right, guys, now we got the side chest pose. And some of you guys love Phil Heath in this pose, but I don't. I think Phil Heath looks nice and dry, but that's about it. I mean, that left arm covers up that left pec, and it makes it look so small. Maybe if he held the pose a little bit fucking differently, he would look a little bit better. But Jay Cutler's side chest is popping a lot more. And I think Jay Cutler's silhouette might look just as good as Phil's. The side sweep to the quads look fantastic. So in my opinion, Jay Cutler's going to get the point. All right, guys, off to the last pose of the night, the rear double bicep. And I tell you, my God, does Jay Cutler look good, and so does Phil Heath. Jay Cutler looked even better, though, in 2005 in the rear double bicep. I think 2005 was the best rear double bicep that Jay Cutler's ever displayed. But I can't go against Phil Heath. No fucking way. Not in the rear double bicep. And by the way, guys, this isn't the last pose of the night. The next, the next round is the last pose of the night, which is the front double bicep. But... I'm going to give Phil Heath the last, uh, the last point. I'm going to give Phil Heath the point for the rear double bicep because he just looks fucking crazy in that pose, especially here in 2015. All right, guys, this is the last pose of the night, the front double bicep. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Jay Cutler's going to get this one. Jay's arms are a lot bigger. Phil's silhouette might look a little bit better because Jay's sticking that fucking midsection out. I don't know why he does that. He does that all the time. He just sticks that midsection out every time he hits a front double bicep. But he does have way bigger arms than Phil. Phil's arms were down in 2015. The quads look a lot better. His V taper, like I said, might be a little bit better on Phil, like I said. But Jay Cutler's going to get the point. And let's tally him up. We got Jay Cutler with six. And we got Phil Heath. Well, Phil the Gut Heath with four. So it was six to four Jay Cutler. Now, this wasn't the best Phil Heath. But 2015 was a lot better than it was in, than he was in 2014, in my opinion, anyway. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Who do you really think was better, Jay Cutler or Phil Heath? Guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.